major project. And um, I've been having you guys do it. We've been kind of doing practice for it. And this is uh, where our C major project really starts kicking into gear. Is this week right now. This is an idea generating week. Now, remember how last week was really annoying when you like had to take the, the letters and put them in the audio tool? I know, Butters Cam. I, I have it ready. But now he's just standing by the door because he wants to get out of here. It was so annoying having to move the little, like the notes from one place to another while I found an automatic way to do it. I know, he's, he's just worried. He'll go lay down and go chill. What's up, Nick? You did it with me, I remember. The test trial. And it was really cool, wasn't it? Yeah. It's so cool. I can't believe, like, you guys are going to have your minds blown about how much fun this is. Okay. But let me start out with something, because there is some things you do have to understand. So, uh, for instance, if you remember this assignment right here, um, this was a hard one for some of you guys, but uh, this PDF is available. If you have this PDF, you can do the entire project, and it's fine. You don't have to understand all of the subtleties, and you, you may not even have to know the names of the notes. You can still do this project, and you will be just fine. Now, with that said, I would like you to learn how to like, you could look at one of these notes and be like, okay, well, that's an F. Um, or this one's an A right there. Like, I want you to have that skill. And I want to be quick because it'll make you a better guitar player. And it'll make you a better composer, all those things. But if, if this is just like confusing, can you compose by just making dots happen? Yes, you can. Okay. So um, here's what we're going to make. Um, we're today going to be making new ideas. This should look very familiar. Okay, this should look like something we did last week. So you're going to make one of these today. I called the C major idea one. And I have a couple things I want to point out. Okay, so when you're making your idea, you're making a quarter note melody. You're going to have four different chords in whole notes. And then you're going to have a third line down here that have low notes that match, that are going to match what you did in your chords. Three lines. Everyone go into the chat box and type in three lines. Okay? And notice I just picked classical guitar here. Let's pick classical guitar for each one. So I'm going to go through the steps. You are going to do these same steps. Your thing is going to look very, very similar to this. Like, in, in, in some ways, you may not even notice the differences. But the fact that you are doing it differently than I do is going to make your composition different. And I've done this so many times with students throughout the years. Like, I don't even know how many years. <laughs> it's been a lot of years since I've taught this. Um, and every single time a kid comes up with different, even though everyone's following the same directions and rules, everyone's turns out different, which is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how, how we make this. Um, I'm first going to start off, uh, you're going to go, I'm going to close out of this flat, and I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Um, reminder that we're going to the music appreciation page, right? And we're going to music first. And you're logging in. Reminder that your username is your student number. Your login is 100 times, which is how many times you should be um, playing <laughs> each song on the guitar. Uh, we're going to flat for education. Okay, and then you get to a page that looks approximately like this. I've been finding out that everyone's computer looks different, but what we're doing approximately. Okay, I'm going to go new score. I'm going to call this C major, and I'm going to call this idea one. Okay, imagine this. For our C major project, we're going to be gluing together ideas. And you may have as many as four or five or six ideas to choose from. Some of your ideas are going to be really good. Some of them, some of your ideas will be less good. And does it matter? No, because as long as you make a bunch of ideas, then you can choose. So I'm just going to create my first idea. I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to add three lines. And I'm going to go ahead and make them guitars. One guitar, two guitar, three guitars. I have to click classical guitar three times. Okay. Now, if you guys remember, there was like the tab below, which is, I think, really cool. But there is a checkbox. I'm going to make myself go away right here. I'm going to unclick use tablature. I'm just going to unclick that. Um, we don't need the tablature in here. So just 
unclick use tablature. And then when you create, you'll see three classical guitars. Let's see if we have that going here. There they are. Okay. Um, my top one here is going to be my melody. And by the way, it defaults to quarter notes. So you could literally just sit here and, and you want to make sure you fill up four measures as I'm on my second measure. Okay. If you want to press play and listen to it, that's cool. You don't have to press play and listen to it, although I would recommend it. Um, if you're picky and you want to make it just right, you could go through and make it just right. Or if you're just kind of feeling random and you just want to put up a bunch of random notes, that's fine too. Okay. Second line. Second line. You're going to have each of these measures is going to occupy a chord. Okay, if you forgot where the chords are, if you go to the C major comp practice number one, these are the chords, the three stacked notes. Everyone, so someone type in which chord. Um, you don't have to follow it right now, Ricky. I just want you to watch. You don't have to make it right now. Just watch. Someone tell me a chord. F major. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take my F major. It looks like we have F, A, C. I'm literally just going to try to make my chord look like that. Boop. Okay. I got those dots from right here. I'll zoom in here so if you guys can see a little better. F, A, C. That's my F major chord. And I plug that in right here. Okay, I need to make this a whole note. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Whoops, oopsies, edit undo. I'm just gonna make sure that the little teardrop is right there. I'm gonna press whole note and boom, that was it. You can also press the number one. Okay, everyone, uh, I'm gonna choose a second chord, C major. Thank you to Devin for suggesting that. So I'm gonna go C major, C, E, G. Do the same thing. Okay. And then I'm going to press the whole note. Boom, it's a whole note. Uh, next chord. Someone suggest a chord off of our list. Which one? Never use the B diminished, by the way. It's a disaster chord. A minor. You got it. Okay, so I'm going to look here. A minor. A, C, E. If you don't know what those notes are, just literally just like copy where they are. Just look and copy. Okay, so A minor. A, C, E. That's probably the hardest part about this whole project is just being able to copy those over. I'm going to click on the bottom note, make it a whole note. And then I need one more. Let's make this a G. G, B. Oops. That sounds pretty cool, but it's not the right note. There's a G chord. Make it a whole note. Okay. The third line is so easy to do. Are you guys ready for this? You literally just take the bottom note of whatever chord you did and you write that on the bottom line. And you make it a whole note. By the way, if you press number one, it'll make it... There we go. Next one. I just used the arrow key to move it over. Okay, that's a C chord, so I'm going to just add a C. Click on it again. Press the number one to make it a whole note. Boom. Next one. A minor. Make an A. Okay, and then this is a G, so I'm going to make that a G. And I'm going to press number one to make it a whole note. Bada bing. Cool. Hey, that's how you generate an idea. If you want to listen to it, you press the play button. Uh-oh. Hmm, what happened? Oh, I have, to, I have to use my arrow keys and bring it back to the beginning. I'm going to press play. I think I can use spacebar. Yep, spacebar worked. And there's a couple notes I don't really like in there, but... It kind of works, doesn't it? Um, the only note I didn't like was this one right here, so I'm just going to change it. I just used the arrow key and I changed it. Yeah, Nick would listen to that. Okay. This is how you generate an idea. I'm going to stop recording here because 